so we are leaving, well we just left Saltgrass downtown and we are walking to the truck. I thought I would show you guys some like little snippets of downtown San Antonio. Um, I hear that it's actually a nice place to visit. I've been here my whole life so I could care less but they do have really nice things. Have you ever been there? No. I didn't even realize it was down here. A lot of tourists actually come here. They think that it's like a really great place to visit. During Christmas time it's really nice. They actually decorate it really pretty like you can see here. Of course you can't because it's blurry. They have, they always decorate the trees with lights and stuff like that. There's a lot of neat places to come down here, all the museums, all the tourist attractions. Of course when you've lived here for so long it doesn't, it doesn't make any difference to me. Coming downtown actually gives me pretty big anxiety because there's all kinds of people here. Look at the horse and buggy. That's the only thing that makes me happy. There's things like this here that is so cute. But anyway, coming downtown gives me pretty bad anxiety because, you know, we drive a big truck and people who are crossing the street don't pay attention and I'm always afraid of hitting somebody. And then of course, you know, downtown has not such great areas like actually, this is a church that homeless people come to, right? This church here. Uh, homeless people come and sleep at. And it's, I mean, it's just kind of a creepy church in general. But the homeless people come and sleep here. And then they do, they feed the homeless here. Like they do the feedings and the shelter and stuff like that. But if you're not careful and you're walking late at night, especially like right now. I mean, people could <laughs> come and try and rob you and stuff like that. So coming downtown like kind of creeps me out. Just got a pedicure. I got OPI's dating royal. This one here. I'm at Ulta to return some stuff because I had like a real bad breakout to those Simply Wipes. I did not like them at all. So I'm here looking at stuff and actually I got a ton of really good recommendations from you guys for drip dry drops from um, my products I've used up video. So I'm looking for the Nicole by OPI ones to compare because a lot of you said that these that was a really good brand to try. I didn't know Ultra had Yankee candles. Have you guys tried this gel strips thing? I really want to try it. I think it looks kind of neat. I would love to do my own gel nails or my own, uh, what is it called, shellac. Just because it's so expensive if you go in the store. So I think it would be, be great. Oh, look, here they are. Nail drying drops. 0.5 fluid ounces, they're $7.99. I'm gonna give these a try and see what else they have. A lot of you told me Essence has one too. I didn't even know Essence had nail polish. Well, I guess I did. Here's nail polish. Don't see any drip drops though. This is new. Look at that iridescence, how pretty. This is a really pretty rose gold polish. I love coming to Ulta, but not really because all I do is freaking buy stuff. <laughs> oh, they still have the Hello Kitty Clean and Clear. I'm looking for some good cleaning wipes because, like, I love the Neutrogena ones, but they, they would just dry out on me so quickly. So I wanted to try something different. 
that's why I got the simply the simply simple brand but it just didn't work out for me I didn't like them they gave me a really bad reaction they were just like super harsh on the skin this is the brand that I had before although these seem like maybe they wouldn't be as bad they're just cleansing wipes I got the exfoliating ones and it was horrible <laughs> they were so bad I don't know how these are um, but I don't think I want to try it since the other ones broke me out and gave me like a bad rash my best friend Tara loves the um, ponds I think is what she uses so maybe I'll try these I don't know she says that they they're like kind of um, textured and she says that they have a lot of moisture she wears makeup like every day so I think she would know what evening soothe hmm I wonder I'm just gonna try the original and see how that goes first the Neutrogena are on sale for six dollars but I don't know I'm just so disappointed in them they're expensive to not last that long I swear these Kardashian girls are they have so much money they have so much stuff look at all this I didn't even know they're gorgeous though Photoshop at its finest, I'll tell ya. I wonder how much this stuff is. It doesn't have prices. It's a mascara set. I mean, $10 for a pair of eyelashes, so... Oh, well, look. The large mascaras are $10 a piece. So I don't know how much this is, but at least it's like a value set. Everything's almost all sold out. I wish they sold Bioderma and, and Ulta. That would be fantastic. I do need a new um, shampoo and conditioner, but I think I'm just going to hold out until Christmas because, you know, we always get our care packages, our goodie packs every year, which of course I'll show you guys. Um, but you know what? Miss Glamorazzi talks about this one. Oh, fortifying shampoo. She talks about this for clarifying. I don't know. Normal hair. I really need a good clarifying shampoo because I feel like my hair has just been super like thick. Oh, that smells really good. I don't know if I want to try it though. I have so many shampoos at home. I just kind of like feel guilty not using them. I've also heard good things about the L'Oreal Everpure. Have you guys tried this brand before? Does it have, is it like a good clarifying shampoo? I don't really know. I've always stuck to the same things over and over again. I also wanted to try the John Frieda Frizzies because I really love the uh, smoothing cream. Let's see, do they have it? Hmm. I don't see it, but it's the one that I used to straighten my hair. It works really, really good. So I wanted to try the shampoo and conditioner, but I don't know. I don't know if it's good. And you know what, when I'm doing my dry shampoo review, I'm definitely going to try out this new uh, Tresemme dry shampoo for fine slash oily hair. Even though my hair is oily, this is straight to normal. I mean, can I get like a curly, hello, well this says curly hair, but it's a foam. I don't want to try the foam one, but I do want to put it in the video. I think it's so funny when I'm vlogging in public because people just stare at me. <laughs> I, I just think it's hilarious. They just look because they probably are thinking what the heck is that girl doing talking to herself um that's interesting <laughs> hmm. i really need to dye my hair but i'm not going to i'm definitely going to let it continue to grow because i really want my natural color back i haven't actually had natural color in i couldn't even tell you like close to 10 years <laughs> i've been dyeing my hair since i was 15 so that's definitely going to be a change so I'm going to ask you guys again, is there anything out right now that you guys would like to see a review on? Um, I mean, I try and keep up with, you know, new things as best I can, but I don't really see anything that's super new that I could review that would really, like, make an impact. I don't know, I haven't really seen much. Oh my god, Essence has a Twilight section, wow. <laughs> well, that's pretty. Just got done making this. Uh, spinach artichoke dip and it was the first time that I made it and I'm actually really impressed with myself. Andres likes it a lot. He said that it's really good. So um, let me know if you guys want a tutorial on this. It's so simple. I mean it literally took me maybe 20 minutes 
and a lot of it was just opening the package. It may not look that delicious on camera, but it actually looks really good in person, and it tastes really good too. At first I thought it was a little too sour, but it ended up tasting really good, and then we have some tortilla chips to go with it. You could also do pita bread, um, stuff like that. I actually found the recipe online, but I kind of made my own twist to it because I didn't use all the ingredients. Um, but yeah, if you guys like spinach dip and you want a tutorial on it, um, definitely let me know.